Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your Google profile, which is basically your profile that allows you to use the plus one button that you see here that recently came out from Google. All right, so if you don't know how to install this plus one button on your website, then check out my other tutorial I recently did on this one. The link should be included with this video that you're watching. So just definitely check that out to get this button installed. But what this tutorial is going to show you is how to create a Google profile, which is basically like a another, see the pictures here? It's basically another social media profile, but it's not one that you'd be coming on like a Facebook or Twitter necessarily, but it does update though. So especially with your plus one preferences and plus one is going to be really big for SEO and everything. So here's what you want to do. Go to google.com forward slash profiles, the way you see it spelled here. So it's google.com forward slash profiles and then once you're on this page all you want to do is click on create my profile and then you're gonna sign in with your Google account and now once you sign in you're gonna be asked to get started here so I wanna go ahead and um, let's just create another account after we continue and now it's going to say, it's going to ask you several things. You know, provide some information to create your account. Basically, uh, create profile. This is all we want to do. You could add a photo at this point. I do recommend you add a photo. Of course, I'm not going to add a photo because this is my test account that I'm going to delete afterwards. And now click on the create profile and continue button after you've added a photo. So now when this page comes up, it's going to tell you click on the parts of your profile that you want to edit. So all you got to do is simply click onto each one of these sections and add your information. I'm going to just go ahead and add some example ones. So the first one right here, email is off. We're going to click on this one and we're going to click on allow people to email me from my profile because it would be ideal for you to have your email on here. So we click here and it tells you, by the way, your actual email will be hidden from the center, but we do want to allow people. So go ahead and click on save for that one first. And now here under information, search, share some details about yourself. Uh, we we'll want to share the location. Well, none of these are going, so we'll just keep that blank for the moment. We'll just have to fill this in after this. So now add some photos. It is recommended that you do add some photos. So see here, add some photos. I would definitely just get through the process and start uploading photos from your computer and so forth. That way it just has at least four or five of them. So that way you just have a better profile filled out. Next one under your introduction. This is where you wanna put some stuff about you. So here is my intro. Just explain who you are and tr and keep this very um, non like super business oriented. Keep it just very personal and just as a regular human. Remember, this is supposed to be a social profile, not so much a LinkedIn type of business profile. Don't treat it like such, but basically treat it like a good regular profile. After that, click on save and then we'll just go through the rest rest of the items basically here's the whole point fill out everything I'm not gonna go ahead and do that so I'll just put um, I'll put uh, tech king we'll save that one and then occupation I'll put tizish tizish CEO so we'll just now save that employment well again we'll put tizish this is a good one that matters so we can put tizish and then again we'll put CEO but you wouldn't put the same thing as occupation doesn't really matter put start and end dates it's up to you and now basically let's just pretend you filled out all the rest, right? It's highly recommended you fill out all the rest, but here's the one that matters. So the ones that I do want to just touch on. See right here under other names? So if you see how it's asking you alternate spellings, this is important for when people search your name on Google. So I'll give you one example, right? Obviously my name is spelled as Josh Galvan. The way you spell my name is Josh Galvan, like the way you see it here. However, many times a lot of people spell my name Josh Galvin. All right, so with Josh Galvin, there's loads of different people that are not me, obviously. So what you want to do with your Google profile, when it comes to different, when it comes to your other names, this is where you put the other spellings that people would do. So I put Josh Galvin right there, right? After that, I click on save, and then my nickname. Ah, uh, there's nothing that, nothing crazy necessarily. But just if you want to add your full name or something, I'll just keep it. I'll just put Joshua Galvin just so it has more variations of my name. Search visibility, we definitely want to keep it visible in search. And now here's the other one, profile URL. So we click here. And then you see the option here, how it asks you. 
what you want to do, this is a really big one right here. What you want to do is click on the second option and then choose an actual URL spelled out. So I'll put Joshua Galvan. You want to preferably have your name. If it's available, we check availability. It's not available, so we'll have to add a number. So maybe I'll put Joshua Galvan number eight. Check availability, that one is available. And after that, we'll click on save. So now that way, our Google URL is using our actual keywords of our name that is gonna be beneficial when someone searches it on Google here, all right? Because you do wanna dominate your first page for your name. All right, so now going back to our Google profile, uh, after that, we go back up, and now here comes the second most important part, really, other than those items I talked about down there. Under links, where are you on the web? We click here, and what we want to do is add links, and here's exactly how you want to do them. So if you click on add custom link, the first thing you want, link you want to add is the link to your website. So if your website, if your website was called SanFranciscoRealEstate.com, right? and the keyword you're trying to rank for is San Francisco real estate, what you want to put as the label is, San, is put in your major keyword. So I put San Francisco real estate, then I'd en enter my website URL here, so mysite.com. Obviously this is a fake example. Now basically all I do is my keyword is going to be the linking keyword to my website. This is how you want to initially set it up. After that click save, and now you see here how our keyword is an actual link to our website, right? So now what we want to do is click on links again and let's add more. But here's the thing now. So at this point, we already, we're adding manual links, meaning your website would be the first one. Your, your main blog that you have with Tizish or if you have a separate one, maybe you have another branded site, you have a broker site, who knows? Any static web pages, not social networks, add those first and use your keyword the way I showed you. All right, now though, we want to add our social networks. So for those, we want to click on, instead of adding custom link, we want to add our social networks. So what we do is click on Manage Connected Accounts. Now, here under Manage Connected Accounts, what we're going to do is click on Connect an Account. And we're going to choose all of our accounts that we want to connect. So we could easily connect Facebook, Flickr, LinkedIn, Twitter. Yeah, I mean, all of these actually. If you have an account with all of these, connect them all. The more that are connected, the better. So I'm going to simply add Facebook just to give you, keep it simple. Account name or profile link. So what we do is, what we'll do is go to our Facebook profile. So here's my Facebook profile and what I'm going to do is here at the very top, you see the section here? What I'm going to do is take this link, copy this link here and now let's go back to our Google profile and now here we're going to add this link so now add this add this link to my Google profile too of course we want to add that link and now we click on the word add and now we have Facebook added with the username Josh Gavin so now we're going to connect another account we'll connect Twitter this time right so account name or profile link I already know mine by heart so I would just type in W you would do the same thing I just showed you by going to your Twitter page and taking your URL. So basically it's twitter.com forward slash whatever your Twitter URL is, your username. So it's Josh Galvan. That's my username. For you, if your name was, if your Twitter username was uh, John Doe, then you'd put John Doe, whatever the case is. So I'm gonna put my username, which I know it's Josh Galvan, and I'm gonna click add this link, and I'm gonna add it. Now we have Twitter and Facebook cooked up, and now we're gonna do one more. Um, let's say we want to add, actually no, I'm not going to do one more, but basically the same concept. So let's say you want to add Flickr, you do the same thing. Go get your Flickr profile link, add the link as well, all right? So, um, and always add this link to my, your Google profile. So basically now, at this point, what you want to do though is, is one more item. All right, so at this point, let's see what happens when you try to add your Facebook page, right? So we add our Facebook page, let's see how that goes. And the way you add your Facebook page is by spelling the Facebook URL forward slash whatever your username is for Facebook. After that, we click on add this link to my Google pro to my public Google profile and we click add. Now we have another Facebook one, right? So pretty much we want to do that for all of our networks. Again, do it as much as you can. The more it's integrated, the better. And now after that, 
all we want to do is pretty much it automatically saves actually you're all set so pretty much now you could go back to your Google profile your public profile so we could click on this link here and now here we'll see our links right we have our link to our Facebook page that we added we have a link to our Facebook personal profile and our Twitter here right and of course a link to our website now after doing all this what you want to do is click on edit profile and here's just a thing just to recap I'm pretty much done now with the tutorial I just want to do a quick summary what you definitely want to do is add your introduction here add as much text as you can that describes who you are and as much as you can fill this stuff out fill all this stuff out the more it's filled out the better the key things you want to look for though are at the bottom under other names put in a different way that people may spell your name and same thing with your nickname put one different maybe maybe a nickname doesn't matter you don't have to do another name of your spelling you can put a nickname just another way that someone may be able to find you and then uh, the other item is your profile URL be sure to change your profile profile URL to your name here so that way it's just going to be better to find you in the search engines and then last after filling out all the information as good as you can adding photos changing those items just, I just talked about the most important part is going to be your links the first thing you want to do is add your link to your website and when you add your link to your website remember the key thing is to use the custom link and under label use your number one main target keyboard you're trying to optimize and rank for like the example I gave was San Francisco real estate after that you add your URL and always include HTTP colon slash slash before the URL and then after that pretty much hit save and then add the rest of your social profiles and then pretty much after this you, of course you want to turn your email on you add a photo and then you're pretty much all set information you could of course add information here and so forth it's up to you other than that you're all set and you're good to go and that's everything for adding your Google profile do not take it lightly how important it is to add your links the way I talked about. I know it may be tedious finding the URLs of your profiles, but it's so important and it's beneficial if you do add that to your profile. And on top of that, the linking with keyword to your website. All right, so that's everything. If you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish, the way you see tizish spelled here, and ask me there. Otherwise, be sure to go to tizish.com check out our WordPress blog section and definitely read about our read about our WordPress blog system because there's nothing there's no other blog system on the market that beats it basically so really check out our system I have plenty of videos that show you all about it and you could just pretty much see if you feel you're a fit for our system alright so that's everything if you have any questions please email me or go to Facebook and ask me that ask me there it's much easier on our Facebook page alright well good luck and take care